Amid the investigation that Kakao Entertainment used a Facebook page to defame other K-pop artists, attention is focused on Ive Jang Wanyoung who might suffer from this. On November 16, the Fair Trade Commission FTC, sent investigators to Kakao Entertainment's headquarters in Sungnam, Gyeonggi-do. In particular, the search conducted by the FTC as a response to the initial reports that Kakao Entertainment deliberately slandered rival idols or posted positive posts to promote their idols in the process of running an account called Idol Lab on the social media platform, Facebook. Suspicions of a reverse viral strategy arose after it was revealed that friendly content was continuously posted on the page for idols belonging to Kakao Entertainment for groups, such as IVE and other affiliate teams, whereas demeaning or non-viral content from competitor companies was posted, such as La SSER, AFIM, ESPA, Blackpink and more. It was then revealed that Kakao Entertainment actually acquired the page years ago and has been operating the now-deleted page, Idol Lab, with the help of an outsourced company. FTC's investigation was to determine the exact time Kakao bought the page and the reason it is operating without revealing its relationship with the company. Depending on the purpose such as for publicity and viral acquisition, they can be punished under the violation of the Display Advertising Act. In a related development, an official from Kakao Entertainment said, while Kakao Entertainment is embroiled in allegations of so-called reverse viral by slandering rival idols, attention is being paid to the aftermath on its celebrities. In particular, some argued that brands that advertise Jang Wanyoung, who has been drawing attention by achieving the top spot in solo advertisements this year, began to erase her traces. As a result of the confirmation made by Top Star News, Jang Wanyoung still occupied the main page of most brands she's in charge of advertising. However, as it has been imprinted on the public as a popular image on various social media, Kakao Entertainment's reverse viral suspicion is expected to hurt the image of not only Jang Wanyoung but also celebrities belonging to Kakao Entertainment in the future. Kakao Entertainment is a comprehensive content subsidiary of Kakao, which was created in March last year by the merger of Kakao Page and Kakao M, and operates businesses in the media, music, and story sectors. The agencies under the music category include Starship Entertainment, East Entertainment, EDAM Entertainment, High Up Entertainment, Antenna and more. For more K-pop news, keep your tabs open here at K-pop Stars.